Hey folks, in the scary world of Dead by Daylight, think about the fog as a spooky curtain that covers everything, making it mysterious and kind of creepy. In this video, we're going to chat about it. It's not just there to set the mood, it means something deeper. Join us as we uncover the hidden meanings behind the fog in Dead by Daylight and how it cranks up the scare factor for both the folks running away and those chasing them. Let's dive into this foggy mysteries together. Imagine you're playing Dead by Daylight, right? You just loaded into the Blackwater Swamp. So you're in this crazy place, creepy, covered in thick fog, and it's not just there to spook you. The fog is like a symbol showing you that you're stuck between what's real and what's not. It's not just a weather thing in the game, it's like a boundary that messes with your head. Think of it like when your life gets confusing and you don't really know what's going on. The fog in the game is like that. It's this weird area where there's no clear answer to the obvious winner. It's like a mix of your hidden thoughts and what you're actually able to understand. So you're wandering through this foggy place trying to figure out what's real and what's just messing with your head. It's like a foggy curtain making it tricky to see what's really going on around you and what dangers might be lurking. All right, let's talk about fog in Dead by Daylight terms. You know, when you're driving or riding your bike in the fog, and it's all misty, and you can't really see what's just a few steps ahead of you? That's like the fog in the game. It makes things uncertain, because you can't be sure about what's right in front of you. It's like everything's a bit blurry and unclear, creating this feeling of not knowing what's going on. Now, think of brain fog. In the game, as your character's mind is, as is in a foggy state, it's like when your ideas aren't sharp and you can't really figure things out. In the medical world, they use that term brain fog when your brain isn't working as it should. You just can't think straight and you struggle to remember stuff. So just like the fog in the game messes with your vision, brain fog messes with your thoughts and memory. And you know how in the game, the foggy places make it harder to choose where to go? That's kind of like having a foggy mind in real life when you're stuck between two decisions and you're just not sure which one to pick. Fog, in this case, is like being uncertain about what to do next. It's the opposite of having a clear, certain mind, just like not having a clear, open map. You know how in the game, when the map is all misty and foggy? Well, that fog makes things mysterious because you can't really see what's going on. It's like a cloud of mystery hanging around everything. You see this a lot in scary movies, especially the ones with a lot of thrills or maybe crime stuff. They use fog to make everything seem secretive and mysterious. Now think about the game and how foggy settings make even things look more mysterious. It's like in the art and movies too. The fog hides stuff and makes it all unclear. And when we get kind of scared of things, we can't see or understand. So when something is tucked away in the fog in the game, it becomes creepy and mysterious. It's like a doorway to something unreal or spooky. So imagine when the game map is all foggy. That's like confusion setting in. Fog becomes a symbol for situations where things are all mixed up and you're not quite sure what's going on. Now picture your character getting lost in the fog in the game. It's like being a little confused and not knowing where, which way to go. Getting out of this confusion is tough, especially when you don't know the map and you might just need a little extra help from like, you know, a swift. Just like in the game, navigating through that foggy confusion can be a real challenge without a little assistance. The fog can also represent bad dreams. And when you think about it, the world of Dead by Daylight is really this terrible foggy bad dream that these characters are locked in. The killers as well as the survivors. And the fog is this thing that connects their, personal, their own personal bad dreams or nightmares. All right, let's talk about getting lost in the fog in Dead by Daylight terms. Imagine you're in the game and it's all foggy, right? Well, when you're stuck in the fog, it's like you have this heavy weight pushing down on you, making you feel alone and your soul all weighed down. It's not a good vibe. You're starting to feel lonely, maybe even kind of sad. That's depression. Now think about this in the real world. Fog can be like a symbol of feeling down, especially really heavy feelings like depression. A lot of people see fog is not so great thing because it brings on these heavy negative emotions. So when you're in the fog, whether in the game or in life, it's like dealing with this gloomy, not so positive vibe. Okay, so to me, this is some of the ways that fog can be symbolized in the game Dead by Daylight. 
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and uh, come back for more Dead by Daylight content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.